Master ISF, Essential Info for Foreign Unlading Ports Hello and welcome to our video on the important topic of the Foreign Port of Unlading section of the Importer Security Filing ISF. In this video, we will discuss the information required for this section and why it is crucial for customs brokerage. The Foreign Port of Unlading section is a key element of the ISF, which is a mandatory filing that importers or their agents must submit to U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, prior to the arrival of the goods at the U.S. port. This section specifically focuses on providing details about the port where the cargo will be unloaded. To properly complete this section, the importer or their customs broker must gather specific information. First and foremost, they need to know the full name of the foreign port where the cargo is being unloaded. This includes the city or location as well. This is important for CBP to identify the exact port where the cargo will enter the US and ensures smooth processing. Next, the ISF requires the two-letter country code for the foreign port. This code is a standardized way of identifying the country where the port is located. It is essential because it prevents any ambiguity or confusion that may arise from the use of different naming conventions for foreign ports. To the name and country code, the customs broker or importer must also provide the estimated arrival date of the vessel at the foreign port. This is crucial information for CBP to track and monitor the movement of goods across borders. It helps CBP assess the risk associated with each shipment and allocate their resources accordingly. Furthermore, the ISF requires the vessel name and carrier code. The vessel name refers to the name of the cargo ship transporting the goods, while the carrier code identifies the specific shipping company or carrier involved. These details help CBP verify the legitimacy of the transaction and ensure that the cargo is being transported by a reputable carrier. Lastly, the container number or numbers associated with the shipment must be included in the foreign port of unlading section. This allows CBP to track and trace each container from its initial loading at the foreign port to its final destination in the United States. The foreign port of unlading section of the ISF requires vital information such as the full name and country code of the foreign port, estimated arrival date, vessel name and carrier code, and container numbers. Ensuring accurate and timely submission of this information is crucial for customs brokerage and plays a significant role in maintaining efficient international trade. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found this information valuable. Stay tuned for more informative videos on customs brokerage, customs bonds, and other important topics related to international trade. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive updates on our upcoming videos. Disclaimer note below. See you next time.